don't think any of us feel comfortable sending our kids back to school right at this right at this time. Worried parents wait for answers even after they get the all clear to send their children back to school after a mold scare. Good evening, I'm Jessica Dean. Yuki Washington is off tonight. Mold issues have been plaguing schools in Monroe Township all week long. And Alicia Nieves is live at Williamstown High School tonight where parents came together to talk about the mold troubles. Alicia. Well, Jess, it's been quite a week for parents in this township. The district placed a notification on their website around 5 late this afternoon, and that's what alerted parents to school being reopened next week. But parents say that's really all they know. That's why a lot of them came to this high school to gather together to get some information together. And that's we weren't allowed, excuse me, in the in the high school. But parents came outside to talk to us and vent their continued concerns. Concerns over toxic mold in Monroe Township forced all district schools to abruptly close earlier this week. That was roughly 6,000 students who have been out of class. I've been trying to find daycare for him all week, you know, scrambling here and there, late for work. Parents like Laura Dario say it's been a nightmare, one that hasn't gotten any better, even though the district announced late today that students can return to school on Tuesday. I'm not happy or, or think he's safe going back to any school right at this point until we get the answers that we need. The district has not released complete test results of the mold testing and air quality testing done at each of its schools. It has only told parents that two schools, Holly Glen Elementary and Whitehall, elementary will stay closed. The four other schools will reopen, but each have a few rooms with mold issues. According to the district, those rooms will be quote isolated. When are they going to fix these quarantine rooms? And you know, who's going to guarantee that they're no one's going to go in those rooms. Brandy Dario still questioning the district's handling of this mold issue, tells herself she has three days to weigh whether her son will return to Raddox Elementary when it reopens. I'm looking into some homeschooling stuff, um, other options outside the district. And as we mentioned, two schools will remain closed next week and really indefinitely four will reopen. So essentially all the students are going back to school. The two, the two, the students that go to the, two, the schools that are closed, those are going to be at the shuffle to the other four schools. Reporting live in Monroe Township, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.